on the draw here. Uh, I don't like the hand, it's in desperate need of a mountain. But I'm not gonna mulligan it because I have a two drop. And if I draw a swamp as my other land, I do have a four drop here. I'm happy to do the trade if it's offered, but I expect a removal spell coming here. Yeah, I would like to play Burning Hands on your 2-2 two -two for sure. <laughs> now, I don't remember what happened in a lot of these games because it was late at night last night when I played them last. So, kind of watching them as they are as well. Wow. Yeah, uh, look at all this removal in my hand that I can't play. This is just sad. This is scoop step at this point because I have no way to remove anything. Sometimes you just lose because of mana issues. Good game. <laughs> kind of frustrated here for sure. Good game, good game, good game. Five. So even if I draw the mountain, finally, what am I supposed to do here? Play the painter and then burning hands. I mean, I, I guess I'm not technically dead. Or I could burning hands and then block with Grim Warden. Yeah. And now he just plays a red dragon and I lose. <laughs> So, even, it doesn't matter. Yep, and then we could kill the red dragon with grim bounty. You know, if we weren't at five because we took so much damage because we didn't have a mountain to kill his two two. <sighs> We could get there. But. That is trample too, doesn't it? Jeez. No good. So, immediately on to game two here. Much better than that. <laughs> Happy with this. I think I can do with a 1 1. We'll see. Look at this. This is what I was hoping would happen all the time when. Uh, I was playing against, or playing with Jade Teleport. Two painters, and so many ways to make the treasure. I can feel, uh, there's something I'll watch coming here. For sure. But, they have it or don't. Like, they don't. Okay. Well, then we win the game. <laughs> Pretty simple. Because now, we kill whatever they play. And... Yeah. So I think you play the Valor Singer here. Didn't because I was wanted I was expecting some sort of removal. I don't know. I disagree. What are they gonna flash in with green white? I just wasn't sure. I got I got scared. <laughs> so I, I didn't play it. So he could technically be at seven, but I didn't feel like it, the point mattered. Three. That's not going to be enough. Um, I think, yeah, you. Oh, that does six, that's right. So now you just swing on. Totally forgot that they did six. Like, well, how am I supposed to kill it? <laughs> Easy. Alright, game three here. It's got four lands, but we're on the draw. Okay. Not great. Hopefully he's not aggressive. <laughs> Mountain. Great. 
but we have a two drop. They have a two drop. <laughs> have to trade. But if they're aggressive, then our um, clutches is going to actually be good because then they run out of steam. I'm gonna plunder that artifact away. Um, I could back the wheel, but I don't think it's necessary. If they want to use removal on my tutu in order to get into damage, that's great. Yeah, they're down to four cards now. They immediately play to land. I'm trying to find the right moment to uh, clutches here to get max value. He tops here he because when he scries, it, it's like oh, he wants that. So we just get rid of it. That's another reason why this card is good. But if he bottoms, scry one top, zero bottom. Alright, so I think this is a turn to clutch unless I find a way to kill the 3-4. I guess he's expecting a double block. I don't, I don't understand that. Yeah, you could play the, the singer here, but I just like this because he wants to draw whatever it is that's on top. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good card to get rid of. Did not remember that. And... Brain or... And a spell. Uh-oh. Not good. Oh, immediately draw the answer. Awesome. Now, I do remember I misplay this game. Uh, with the 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Again, you have to remember this was in the middle of the night. That was kind of tired. There's two very bad misplays that I make that I remember. That's why you know they're bad when you remember them, so hopefully I don't do them again. Uh, I just swing when I shouldn't have with the 2-1. That's all. Yeah, he could attack with a 3-4 here. I don't think I would block. He didn't. So, for some reason, I thought, oh, I'm going to swing with my 2-1, and then he's going to block with the 3-4 or something, and then I'm going to get him with the improv <laughs> improvised weapon, here, which didn't happen at all. And so now I'm just kind of like, you know, he didn't attack last turn with his 3-4, now he's attacking. And I don't have the option to double block now, so... Ooh, not good. Not good at all. So now I have to like kill the 3-3 three, three with both of my removal. It's just not good. I mean that's why I kind of have to do and then I just take three every turn. From the Dungeoneer. We're both in top deck mode then. It is what it is. But I can't take seven obviously. I can't take three even. Could attack, but no. You need to block the one-one because that that makes the clock different. Because I would go to six, and then Dungeoneer kills me then in two turns rather than three. Please don't attack. Okay. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna dead on board and drive mana. No attacks. Maybe he gets scared. He swings all here, he wins. He did not. I don't know why he didn't. Because either I have it or I don't. But I still don't have it. So, we can see. That's what happens when you misplay. So, already two losses here. Right off the bat.
All right, on the next game here. Fine hand. Need something to do to get this grim wander wanderer out. But I have to play two one. Still need to draw land at some point. Which is doing does not matter. Uh, yeah, that will work. So my thought was between the mage and the singer. I went with the Pistol Painter because that gets me the uh, the four mana that I need in order to play the Wild Mage. And then if it's if it untaps, then it becomes bigger, more likely to survive. Unicorn. Okay. Find a way to kill that would be fine. I could Grim Bounty it, but I don't think that's necessary. I think swinging for two is fine, and then playing the Wild Mage is the play. With using the treasure. Maybe he gains life, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But let's pay with treasure. Because if he, if he leaves back the unicorn, then, then I can Grim Bounty it if I need, need be. It gains life, it comes out of hand, sort of thing. I'm happy with my position right now. I mean, obviously, since I've already lost two games, I win every next game. <laughs> But it's a matter of how to get there at this point. That's why you never give up. You always keep playing hard because, you know, I start out 1 2 and I end up with 7 wins this, this run. So, you just gotta, when things like that happen, you just gotta put it behind you and say, well, it is what it is. And then, <laughs> it'd be like that sometime. And then, yeah. I don't remember why I just oopsed. I wasn't really watching, I was more talking. Okay, so Grim Bounty in the 4 3 is fine. I agree with this play. That way I can swing with the Wild Mage. Play the Grim Warden with the Treasure. And then swing in. Now, this was a weird play. I do not need to attack with the 2 1 here. So. Also, I did not remember making that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I didn't need to attack with the 2 1 here. Because now I'm in the awkward position of do I lose my 2 1 or do I trade 5 damage for it? And I think the play is to sacrifice in order to kill it. Because, I mean, that was free, right? Um, your opponent gains 5 life, destroy, deal 3 damage to target card, right? Play that card. Probably, right? I play that card all day. So, the target block creature. Even target block creature, I can't play it. Flying life like haste is pretty good. At this point, I have to race that. I agree with him attacking. But maybe not, because then you trade with the Wild Mage. And yeah, this is just a bad version all around. Because now I attack all and then it's another seven coming in at him. Yeah. And I'm just like thinking to myself, okay. I don't, do I attack? Do I sack the one two? Do I sack the two three? I can only do it once, but is it worth it? And before I could decide, he conceded. So that's why the wild mage is really good. <laughs> Card is insane. Two and two here. Onward. Uh, yeah, fine. 
draw our cell sword. So, painter into plundering barbarian. Or heck, I can see you playing dungeon map, but you know, definitely gotta play painter now. And then improvise weaponry. And we'll have two mana for whatever or two treasures for whatever shenanigans I draw. And then they'll get really pumped up. I'm not gonna block with my one tick for sure. Okay, so I think the play is to kill that instead. Because that allows him to activate his 2-2. Two -two. A 2-2 two -two right now isn't good. It's just a 2-2. Two -two. But I won't be able to kill his pumpable 2-2 two -two at instant speed or sorcery speed if I allow him to untap with that. So that one's good more right now. Can't play treasure, so... End of turn deadly dispute, sacrificing a treasure. Maybe. But. No. <laughs> I don't think so. I Wait, you can't do that because you have to sack the treasure to do it, so. You'd have to sack the painter for that to work. Not worth. Uh, are you gonna not? Okay. That needs to die immediately. That is a bomb. So he's just gonna get a bunch of creatures here. That, yeah. What do you do? You can play Valor, but I guess you play Valor. I, I don't know. And offer the trade against the one two, but he's not gonna take it. Like dungeon map and try a scry? No, yeah. Like dungeon map and then Valor. That's probably better play. Yeah. The guide to monsters. He's just gonna get so many things. Um, what are we thinking here? Wandering Barbarian and... Valor Singer? Run out of time. Now Plundering Barbarian? Yeah, I'm not sure why that took so long. it open. I'll try to race it if I can't kill it. That's all I can do. That touch. There's two of them. Yeah. Luckily it doesn't get that one. He already has it. So. Ah oh, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. What to do? I can't just not attack, because then... He just keeps getting bigger creatures. He is down to one card, but... Swing with something? No. I mean, he doesn't really have good attacks here. He has to swing with his guide to monster to get the Null Hunter to pump. Or both of his Basilisks, and in which case I just kill his Null Hunters. And now he does, he has two one threes in the air. So... Yeah, this isn't that, that great, that's for sure. Luckily he only has one card left. Uh, yes, Deadly Dispute, the treasure, away. For sure. And we get one right back, so. Drawing Meteor Storm, yes please. Yes. That's what I needed. 
So I, I think I take a bit of time here to figure it out, but it's basically just pay X for each one. Uh, I didn't realize that. So uh, four would be, so it would be two on monsters, two on null hunter. Well, yeah, I can race the one threes. So it's two, 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 two. <laughs> null hunter, guide the monsters, basilisk, basilisk. That's my targets. And that's eight. So you're paying four. I have just enough mana. Click, no, pay four. Two, four, six, eight, yep. You gotta kill the basilisk. Basilisk, whatever. Set value for X, four. There you go. And <laughs> counting up here. Remember, I'm tired and it's late at night. Um, so, just making sure I did it right. Counting my mana. This is the first time I've ever cast this as well. That's also fine, sure. But I would have killed the Basilisk. I would have swung, put the uh, the four on the one two and swung with that instead. Yeah, see, that's why the basilisk would have been better. Because what is it? That was a complete misplay. I didn't see that when I made it. So this is exactly why I do this. Because now I see. Oh, I definitely should have killed the the death touch there. No, he should not be attacking here. I mean, I don't know what he has in his hand, but. Attacking just doesn't seem right. Uh, that wasn't necessary. But then again, putting it on the one, one two doesn't solve anything, so okay. Strongly considered this because he's at 10. I don't remember if I went into it. I don't think I did. Because I was just like, ah, well, I'll scry. Whatever. But. I'm pretty sure I went to this dungeon once. Did I do it? I get cheesy at night. I that. Like, he's down to two cars. I'm thinking, oh, I'll just kill him. Before. Keep it in hand so I can discard it. Get in there for four. He can block close to five. Wow. I'm just trying to think. I need another creature. Okay, discard a card, sacrifice a creature, an artifact, and a land. Jeez. Well, I didn't want to sacrifice a creature, so. I had the land to discard. Might as well. He held a land because saw that I was going into that dungeon, so good on him. That card's not going to be doing anything for this game. And yeah, I think I just plus one on the painter and swing all here. Although you could argue plus one on the Fowler Spear. They just get rid of a land here. Deal. And so do I. It's not why we're playing it. We're playing it because of... Uh, the end of it. Yep, swing all, block, block. Goes to two. Why don't you block the one, two? There's no reason not to. But next turn is Grim Wanderer is going to be out, and there you go. And I'm going to get a 5-5 five five with Death Touch. This game is over unless he draws something crazy, which I don't see. There you go. 
Another victory. And a rank up, I'm pretty sure. Gold tier 3. There you go.